Hello, what's going on guys and welcome to this video. Today we're looking at how to rank YouTube videos using user Ion. First things first, if you don't have an account, you can simply go to userion.com and click on sign up. Now, since I already have an account, I'm gonna click on sign in and I'm gonna log in. Once you're signed in, first thing you wanna do is add your YouTube channel to user Ion. So go to the left sidebar and click on add new site. In the site name, you wanna enter your channel name. In the URL, enter your channel URL. Select the category your channel is in and then also your country. Click add site and your channel is now added to user Ion. Now that your channel is added to user Ion, head back to the left menu, click on video ranking and YouTube. This will bring you to the YouTube dashboard of user Ion. Now for the purpose and demonstration of this video, I'm gonna be switching to a client site so I can properly show you how to use user Ion and some of the benefits behind it. So I'm gonna to go to the top here, I'm gonna to switch to a client site, so to a client and YouTube channel, and then this brings me back to the dashboard and click on YouTube to bring me back to the YouTube ranking dashboard. And now here you can already see some of the videos we're ranking for this client. Now, obviously, some of the information on this page is going to be blurred just to protect the privacy of a client. The first thing you want to do is add a new task. The task is going to give user Ion the necessary information they need to rank your video. So the first thing you want to do is select your YouTube channel. And most likely this is going to be already selected for you because you're already inside of your channel dashboard. And then you want to go to your video, copy the YouTube link and paste it into this field. Now, when you're pasting the link, make sure you're pasting the full YouTube URL. The best thing you can do is go to your video, click on share and then click on copy URL. This way we can ensure you're copying the right link for user Ion. Once you have your link in there, go to the next one and add a keyword. Now enter the keyword you want to rank for. You can enter multiple keywords. What it'll do if you enter multiple keywords, it'll create a task for every keyword. In most cases, I recommend you only create one keyword to start off with, get ranked for that one video and then move on to the next. This way you can ensure you can get the most out of your budget and get ranked for keyword the fastest way possible. Now this next part is where a lot of people get confused. The minimum and maximum minutes. What this means is what user Ion needs to know is how long this video is and how long user Ion needs to be on the video to increase its retention. If your video, for example, is 10 minutes long, your minimum should be 10 minutes and your maximum should be one minute. This way we can ensure user Ion watches your entire video and you can get the most out of your budget. Another example would be if your video is seven minutes and 45 seconds long, you wanna have the minimum at eight minutes and the maximum at nine. You always want to round up the minimum. So if your video is six minutes and 40 seconds, the minimum should be seven minutes. If your video is two minutes and 30 seconds, so the minimum should be three minutes and the maximum should be four minutes. If you do have any questions about the duration, feel free to reach out via our support email. Now, the extra word is very important because if your video can't be found under the keyword, user Ion needs to use another keyword to find your video. Because if user Ion can find your video in the, in the search ranking, it won't be able to help you rank the video higher. The best way to get your video found is by simply using your channel name. So for example, if we're not ranking for the keyword business fundamentals yet, I need to enter my username so user Ion can find my channel. Once all the information is filled out, you got your site, you got your link to the video, you added the keyword, you put in the duration of the video, the minimum and the maximum, and you've added your channel name, click on add. So you can see here we have business fundamentals. We have the extra keyword, which is the channel name, and it's hidden right now for just client privacy. This is the video URL, and here we have the duration. So this specific video is 11 minutes and 56 seconds long. So in the duration, minimum to maximum, we've put 12 minutes to 13. This way we can ensure that user Ion watches the entire video. Next thing you want to change is the daily runs. So the daily run is how often user Ion should go and watch your video. Every time user Ion watches your videos, it'll try to increase your video ranking. Right now for this specific video, the daily run is set at one. It's set at one because it's already ranking on the first position for this keyword. If we look at another video, for example, 2020 goal setting, we can see 
The daily run is set at 7 and the position is 10. When you're just launching your video and you're trying to get it ranked, you want to set this number as high as you can. In most cases, the average user uses a number between 5 to 10 daily runs to rank the video. And it'll take 5 to 15, sometimes 30 days to get your video ranked. Now, when you see your position is increasing, you can lower the daily run. User Ion charges you by the minute. So the longer your video is, the higher the cost will be to rank the video. For example, if the duration is 17 to 18, you'll pay 8 cents per minute. So if we do 17 times 8 cents, it's a dollar and 36 cents. So one run costs you a dollar and 36 cents. Now, if we times that by seven, this video would cost you $9 and 52 cents per day. So once you see that the position is increasing, you're in the top three, you can decrease the daily run and move that budget to a different video. For example, this video, Business Fundamentals, the maximum is 13 minutes. So we're paying $1 a day to keep this video on the first position. The cost per minute is subject to change. If you want the most up-to-date pricing, go to the left, click on information and click on prices. Here you can see the most up-to-date pricing for all of our services. Now, once you have added the task and you've set your daily run, and you've figured out your budget, you can click on the keyword, it'll open up a new page and you can see the progress user ION is making ranking your video. On the top left here, you can see how many times user ION has visited your video and it has watched your video in average of 11.4 minutes. And we can see the average position right now is 4.2. Here you can see the position change by day for your video. So here you can see the video started with 5.3 as a position and it moved up all the way to position one. As the days go by, this average will increase if this position stays. On the right sidebar here, you can see the latest visits. Every row is a visit. So for every row, we have the date, the time, the position and the duration, how long user ion watched video. You can click on a visit to see exactly what user ion was doing. Now, a few things to note is if your video has a star and number behind it, this simply means user ION is finding your video by using the extra keyword. So here you can see business mindset is zero star. This means actually that user ION can't currently find the video. There's either something wrong with the video URL or your video is not optimized correctly. In most cases, this won't happen. But if it does happen, you'll have to check the video. If there's no star like this one over here, this simply means that user ION is finding your video using the primary keyword and it's not using the extra keyword. When you're just launching your video, in most cases, your video will be found using the star. After a couple of days, the star will disappear and the position will increase without the star. Now to quickly recap this video, some of the important things to highlight are the keywords, the duration of how long user ion should watch your video and try to get it to rank, the extra keyword, which in most cases should be your channel name, and then the daily runs. You can calculate the cost for your video by simply taking the duration of the video, multiplying it by the cost per minute, which right now but at the recording of this video is eight cents per minute, which gives you the cost per one single run. And then take that and multiply it by the daily runs. And that will give you your daily budget. And that's just good to know. So you can plan out your budget for your videos and get the right amount of credits added to your account. Keep an eye on your position changes. And if you have a video ranking on the first position, you can drop the daily run to one. If you see the position changing again, it's dropping, you can increase the daily run again. Or sometimes if it's up there for a long time, you can turn it off completely. Just monitor your videos, make sure your positions are increasing, not decreasing. If they are decreasing, you can turn them back on. Or if your budget allows, you can keep them on one daily run. That's it for this video. Hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to our support email, which is contact at userion.com. And we'll do our best to answer any questions you have. Stay tuned for more awesome features. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.